Hey, what's up? So this is a quick guitar tutorial for the Beatles song, Oh Darling. We're going to start the song off with this E augmented chord. You're going to place your ring finger on D string fret 2, index finger on G string fret 1, and middle finger on B string fret 1. Play from D string down to the bottom. Alright, so that chord starts the song and then we get into the meat and potatoes of it. We're going to start with an A major chord strumming it six times, accenting the fourth strum. So what you want to do is mute your strings with your palm, right? You're going to play six times, accenting the fourth play with a, um, a strum without palm mute, like this. All right, we're going to continue over to an E major chord. bass notes, open E to the F, fret 1 on your E string, and then we're going to form an F sharp minor chord. F sharp minor, you're going to make a full bar on fret 2, third finger on A string fret 4, pinky on D string fret 4, strum all six strings and keep that six strum pattern with the accent on 4. to an open D chord. Now we're going to make a B minor. B minor is bar the five uh, A string to the bottom. Make sure the tip of that first finger is blocking your E string so you don't have to worry too much about what your right hand's doing. Uh, fret two, bar that, and then ring finger on D string fret four, pinky on G string fret four, and middle finger on B string fret three. All right, zoom it in, there's your shape. We're gonna play one six pluck pattern. Then move it over to an open E major. Back to B minor. E again. Now we're gonna play our melody. Uh, place your first finger on D2 to make that A power chord. You're gonna give it four strums. Then we're gonna take the melody and play A string fret 2 and then A string fret 4. Then we're going to make a D power chord, open D and G string fret 2. Walk backwards, the same notes you went upwards with, A4 and A2. That brings you back to an A power chord. Then we're going to walk down on the E string, fret 4, fret 2, and then an E major chord. All together it should sound like this. time I'll call out the chords as I'm playing it. So A major, E, F sharp minor, D, B minor, to E, B minor again, E again, second time through that progression, we're going to cut the melody short and then play an A major and an A7. So I'll show you what I mean. Second time through the progression, we go to the melody. Stay on A, turn it into an A7 by placing your ring finger on the bottom string fret 3. You're going to bar that first finger on fret 2 from D string to B string. So you've got open A, 2, 2, 2, 3. There's your A7. Try it again. Now this brings us to a D chord. We're going to play this full power. six strings, ring finger on A3, pinky on D3, middle finger on G string fret 2. Then we're back 
back to an A chord, make sure you use this flat finger like this, and then we're going to add your ring finger on the bottom string to turn it into a 7. <laughs> Drop your third finger on the next three strings, fret four. So it's two, four, four, four. And then we're going to turn that into a B7 by dropping your pinky on the bottom string, fret five, like this. And then we're going to finish this section with an E major and an F major, like this. augmented chord to restart everything. All right. Uh, any questions about it, you can drop a comment in uh, the comment section below. Enjoy practicing.